Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and this is episode 4 of my Airfix 112th Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama Build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we're going to be continuing with gluing the walls of the TARDIS together. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's the TARDIS walls glued in place, so let's pop that to one side to dry. Next up, we're going to be finishing off the telephone with edge highlights in desert yellow. Then I'm going to glue it to its door and finally give it a quick wash. So let's get that sorted out, shall we? Ghosty on the desk. That's all done. Now to glue it into place. That's all glued in place and needs to dry now, so we'll pop it over there. Next, we're going to be continuing gluing, this time the lower part of the centre console. So, let's get that bit sorted. Well, that didn't take long, did it? So, off you pop to dry. Next, some heavy stick work. We're painting the TARDIS door handles. I'm using bright brass here from Vallejo 71.067. So let's get those painted. Next, the door lock. Door lock completed satis. Next, those Converse trainers. Here, we're going to give them a second coat of Vallejo's Red, 70.326. So, let's get those done, shall we? There we go, that's those done. Looking back, I wouldn't have gone for one thick coat. Now, I would do a couple of thin layers and get better coverage and more detail. Well, that's what this hobby is about, isn't it? Living, learning, progressing. Anywho, next up, his head. Oh Lord, this is gonna be fun. Let's crack on. Thank you. 
Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought, was it? All I did was his hair. Anywho, next up, coat number two for the door handles. Let's crack on. And back to his shoes. Shoes done. I've absolutely obliterated all the lovely zenithal highlighting I did on these. Next time, thin layers. Anywho, back to his head. I'm doing the dark shadows on his face. Then I'm going to go and do his eyes. Let's get on. Now, the eyes. I'm really chuffed with how these eyes have come out. A little tip on doing them. Do the first iris as normal, giving you a general direction for them to be looking. Then, turn the head upside down. This then allows you to place a second iris so that it'll look in the right direction. It confuses your brain. Anyway, now on to skin tones. I'm just going to skip straight through this as there are a lot better face painters out there than me. So let's get through this. Okay, it's out with the wet palette. Can you tell what I thought of that? Yeah. Well, let's start again. Right, we've given him a better base at starting colour this time, so we'll pop him to one side and leave him to dry. Now to move on to the window frames. The paint Airfix applied doesn't go through the airbrush very well. It's either too thick or too thin. I couldn't find a happy medium. So I decided Vallejo's Dark Prussian Blue 70.899. I'm going to hairy stick it, so let's do that.
do we have the window frames done? Hopefully the couple of coats I gave them will get that sorted. Now back to his face. Let's hope I can improve on my previous attempt. Fingers crossed. Well, that's looking a lot better than the previous version. We'll pop it to one side. Now it's time to get the masking off the windows. There's nothing more satisfying than removing masking, unless it doesn't work. There we have the windows unmasked. Not too bad at all. Just a little bit of clean up to do. So I'm quite happy with that. Anywho, this seems like a good place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode four. If you want to see what happens in episode five, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.